Now, in spite of its incredible mid-engine performance and accessible price, there are always going to be naysayers who claim that the standard C8 Corvette just isn't exotic enough to do battle with the likes of the Porsche 911 and Lamborghini Huracan. Well, to those negative Nellies, I'd like to introduce this, the 2023 Chevrolet Corvette Z06, which ditches the standard car's pushrod 6.2 liter V8 in favor of a flat plane crank 5.5 liter unit that grunts out an incredible 670 horsepower with a sky high rev limit of 8,600 RPM with an American Ferrari soundtrack blatting away the whole time. There's also tons of tweaks underneath this Corvette's skin that make it the true exotic that it needs to be in order to convert those naysayers into excited, enthusiastic Corvette owners. Now, in spite of some professional jockeying, I've never actually been able to get behind the wheel of the Corvette Z06, but luckily that all changes today. Now, before we learn what 8600 RPM feels like on a public road, I'd like to invite you to subscribe to the Motor One YouTube channel and find us on all of your favorite social media. That's Facebook, Instagram, Threads, TikTok, and X, and interact with us there. You can also find the full review of the Corvette Z06 at the link in the description. But for now, let's go for a spin. The first time I saw a Z06 driving down the street, I actually squinted for just a moment and thought, wait, has the standard Corvette always been that aggressive? And that's because the alterations from the regular car to the Z06 are actually surprisingly subtle if you don't go ham with the carbon fiber exterior modifications like you see here. However, there are a few tells that you're looking at the Z06 instead of the regular C8. The front fascia is undeniably more aggressive with big radiator inlets on the corners. And then around the back, you get four round exhaust tips mounted right in the center instead of the regular car's four squared off tips down on the corners. But the subtlest little piece of aggression is the wider track. The Z06 is 3.6 inches broader at the shoulders and the hips than the regular Corvette, meaning you get these gracefully flared fenders that jut out from the headlights and dovetail into the taillights. It's just a great look that makes the car look planted and mean and makes you wonder why the Corvette didn't always look this good the whole time. Alterations to the Z06's cabin are also relatively minor, primarily comprising the standard GT2 competition bucket seats that you can get as an option on the regular Corvette. Overall though, this is largely the same visually interesting, although somewhat ergonomically challenged interior that we've had a love-hate relationship with since the Corvette debuted in 2020. Now, if the subtle exterior redesign and the Corvette's relatively humble proportions haven't convinced you yet, let me just tell you that all doubt as to whether or not this car is an exotic goes out the window the moment you press that start button when the Corvette fires up with a roar. Unlike the regular Corvette's kind of lopey traditional V8 sound, this one has a flat plane crank, which gives it a much more shrill and shrieking V8 engine noise, a lot more like you'd see in a Ferrari, not an American sports car. And that changes the Corvette's personality completely because all of a sudden you're just getting this shrill, high RPM banshee wail that sounds unlike anything that Chevrolet has ever produced in the past ever. It's absolutely brilliant. Now the downside to the flat plane crank V8 is that it doesn't even have as much torque as the regular C8, 460 pound feet compared to the Stingray's 465. And that's due to the nature of the flat plane crank V8 and its power strokes. It's just not going to have as much torque down low. The benefit then is high RPM running where you get this car's incredible 670 horsepower output. And that's not to say that the Stingray or the Z06 are better in terms of their power delivery, they're just different. While the Stingray has an incredible groundswell of torque that almost feels like you could pull stumps out of the ground, the Z06 is much more inclined toward high RPM running. And that hard charging is really what the Z06 is all about. In pursuit of that maximum track day performance, the Z06 gets standard magnetic ride control and a revised double wishbone suspension setup that's unique to the car, which pairs with that wider track that I mentioned earlier to give you incredible performance and huge, huge levels of grip and stability, no matter what kind of cornering you're putting this thing through. And although the convertible isn't available with the optional Z07 suspension package found on the coupe, it still has excellent grip to go along with its brilliant soundtrack, courtesy of Michelin Pilot Sport 4S tires that give it tons and tons of cornering ability. Now, to be totally honest, I haven't actually pushed the Z06 very hard yet, which means you are gonna come along with me and we're both going to experience the car for the first time together. Now let's put this thing through its paces. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, it sounds like a Ferrari. It's insane, dude. 
Now I know I'm primed to think that because everyone else has been saying it, but it's genuinely true. This sounds like no other Corvette on the market. It's absolutely insane. Now I'm shifting the car manually and it's definitely really responsive and it's pretty fun to use these carbon fiber shift paddles, but let's throw it into automatic and see how it does. The eight speed transmission is now in automatic mode and I do have the car ratcheted up for maximum attack Canyon performance. So let's see how it does. Oh, that's a great downshift. It really readily just threw me into second gear for that corner. That was really great. I can already tell just a few minutes behind the wheel, there's so much left in reserve for this car. It's so good. All right, complaints. We got to balance out all the good stuff with a little bit of bad stuff. It is a Corvette. Uh, I don't care how much you dress it up with carbon fiber. It still feels a little gaudy and almost cheap, I guess, on the outside. And then inside, there are still kind of the same ergonomic issues. This gigantic bank of climate controls isn't super easy to use at a glance. The squared off steering wheel looks really cool. And honestly, it feels pretty good, but it makes it difficult to do like low speed parking maneuvers, for example. There are just a few little flaws here and there. Again, though, a lot of those issues are a mid-cycle refresh away if Chevrolet thinks that it's a big enough problem for them to address it. And then insofar as the driving experience is concerned, I do wish there was a little bit more low end torque. I'm not sure that I trade away the flat plane crank and that high RPM scream in exchange for that low end torque, but you can definitely tell that there is some grunt missing that you'd find on the 6.2 liter V8 found in the Stingray. Mm -hmm. And then of course, there's the issue of price. As with everything else on this car, the Z06 ratchets up its MSRP to 11. This top trim convertible starts at $125,500, but with tons and tons of exterior and interior carbon fiber accents, special colors, et cetera, et cetera. The total as tested price is $142,210. Now, again, that is still a considered a bargain in a world where the base engine 911 Carrera T is only about 10 or $15,000 cheaper. Now, of course, someone considering one of those high dollar European supercars isn't really going to care about the cost savings that you get with a Corvette Z06. They're going to be more interested in the ownership experience and the rarity and the exclusivity and maybe the badge on the hood more than they do absolute performance or value per dollar. But for the person who just wants to go really, really fast, be it on a track or a canyon road, it's hard to imagine better ways to do that than this comparatively budget priced Z06. And that's exactly what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna keep enjoying this thing for a couple hours more and I'll talk to you when I'm done having fun. Back to what we were talking about at the beginning, if your problem with the C8 Stingray has to do with its performance characteristics and hardware, the Z06 is the answer to your prayers with an incredible soundtrack accompanying excellent track day credentials and cool touches like this gurney flap rear spoiler and center exit exhaust. If however, you're an elitist and your biggest problem with the Corvette is the badge on the hood, and the fact that you can get Ferrari rivaling performance at a fraction of the cost, the Z06 isn't gonna change your mind one bit. In fact, it might make your life a lot worse.